ISRO 2016 analysis mechanical engineering in this five minutes we will be explaining the ISRO 2016 question paper in detail what are the different areas that came in question and what are the areas of concern in mechanical engineering this video will surely help you to boost your scoring ISRO 2017 because the pattern will be same almost same so now we are going to the chapter wise analysis of ISRO 2016 exam before that let us introduce about the exam so that there are 18 questions in the exam like the question paper will contain 80 number of questions and time duration is 90 minutes which means that for 80 questions you are getting only 90 minutes approximately more than one minute that's 80 questions the 80 minutes plus extra 10 minutes for the exam so you should be very fast while exam for marking the answers and you have to do the calculation manually the, the calculator is not allowed in ISRO exam so you have to do the calculation manually and you have to mark it it is an OMR based exam so you have to bubble it so it will consume time so the time management accuracy plays a vital role in ISRO exams so be prepared for that and uh, each marks contains each question contains three marks so total of 80 into 3 that is 240 marks the exam will be of 240 marks and for each objective type question there will be one negative mark means if the answer is wrong if you mark the wrong answer one mark will be detected so scoring in ISRO is very important the accuracy is very important why because the cutoff score will be around 135 140 like that last year there was around 100 vacancies and the cutoff was cutoff score was around 135 so this time the vacancies are nearly 36 out of 10 is reserved for OH category so for general OBC and SCST category the total vacancy is 26 only so the competition will be very tough so you should be thorough with the concepts you should practice as much as possible and you should be very accurate in exam and time management is a very important key so you should score nearly 140 150 marks if the exam pattern is coming like last year that is a simple type of exam easy type of exam the question was nearly straightforward in the last year so now we are going to discuss the question paper itself so what are the key areas that are asked in ISRO? What are the important chapters that we have to consider for preparation? So there are one, one and a half months, two months, more than two months for preparing for ISRO. So if you start preparing from today, from this day, you will be getting a very good score in ISRO. And you should remember that the cutoff, the written exam score is used only for uh, uh, shortlisting for interview. If you shortlisted for interview your selection will be 100 percent depends upon the interview only the cutoff score doesn't play so whether you are in the last role in last place in the list or you are in the top your performance in the interview matters so you should get at least 60 percentage score in interview and the interview discussions will be coming in coming lectures we'll be sharing some interview experience and all so in this video we will be explaining the question paper so this is a chapters wise analysis if you see thermodynamics out of 80 questions thermodynamics 12 questions engineering mechanics 12 questions and manufacturing and production that is 10 questions fluid machinery and me mechanics and machinery that is 10 question heat transfer 8 question strength of material 7 question mathematics 6 questions machine design 5 gas dynamics 4 rac 3 or plant 2 and mechanics of machinery 1 it was about a spring question so if you look at this the key areas are thermal thermodynamics then a mechanics strength of materials and engineering mechanics too much that is 12 number of questions asked from engineering mechanics each and every concepts in engineering mechanics came in ISRO exam and manufacturing 10 question fluid mechanics and machinery 10 question heat transfer 8 question and strength of material 7 questions so we'll be discussing the questions in chapter wise you should notice that there is no industrial engineering in ISRO exam no no questions are asked from industrial engineering so you can leave that part in what what we prepare for gate you can leave that part you should be concentrating on thermal and fluid engineering and design part and additionally you have to study the gas dynamics two three questions last year four questions asked from gas dynamics is about nozzles and all shock shock and all 
so we'll be discussing that and power plant engineering and very few questions it will be about a uh, rangain cycle and all so the most of the areas are in thermal fluid and uh, engineering mechanics and strength of material then uh, mathematics and uh, the uh, um, manufacturing so now we are going to analyze the questions in chapter wise so from thermodynamics last year there was a question about zeroth so the question was about the thermometer what is the thermometer is based on which law so it was a theory type question and uh, there were two three questions regarding work done in process comparing the work done in isothermal process adiabatic process and all and the thermometric property that is how the temperature is measured using thermometer there was a numerical problem based on that and pure substances that is the uh, properties of steam and uh, ts diagram and all those kinds of questions was the two two or three questions was the regarding two, two questions was the from pure substance and carnot efficiency which is a very important concept normally asked in each and every isro exam then throttling process there was two questions from throttling process one was about the theory what is the joule thomson coefficient for uh, throttling process for an ideal gas it the answer is zero so that was one question and another question once which, which property will remain constant during the throttling process that's the enthalpy so and joule thomson coefficient so these are the important areas from thermodynamics you can find we are preparing videos we competitive engineering preparing videos on core area so we already prepared uh, work done in process and thermometric properties and pure substances and all carnot efficiency so you can find those videos in our if you are subscribing our channel on from the heat transfer newton's law of cooling so newton's law of cooling which comes in convection convection heat transfer and uh, there was one one question from newton's law of cooling about comparing the time required to cool the body and conduction problems that is the resistance concepts and all so conduction problems asked and critical the critical radius of insulation theory and problem there was one theory and one problem so two questions asked from this concept and flow over flat plate the heat transfer over flat plate for a simple problem and the radiation problem and theory so it was theory was about gray bodies what are gray bodies and all and radiation problem that is mc power of a black body and if you are increasing the temperature of uh, sun what will be the mc power and so on so heat transfer these are the areas that is newton mean newton's law of cooling conduction problems and then radiation then mc power and all that is stefan boltzmann law so these are the core areas from thermodynamics and heat transfer now we are going to engineering mechanics so it is a very important problem each and every topic in engineering mechanics asked in last year that is elevator problem so what will happen when we are moving in the elevator up and moving in the elevator down apparent weight apparent acceleration and all then one there was questions from truss and simple harmonic motion then finding the moment of inertia of a given diagram and lamy's theorem that is an analyzing the forces and boat and river problem that is upstream downstream motion along the river and friction and inclined plane there was two question one about the one one body sliding over the other in friction and inclined plane also so these are the main areas from engineering mechanics from the seven areas there was 12 questions okay the because the lamy's theorem that is force analysis two questions was there and friction and inclined plane it was two questions and so on trusses there was two questions from mathematics the main areas are determinant so given a matrix find the determinant of that matrix it may be a numerical type means means that it contains um, numbers 1 2 3 etc or it may be uh, some theory type questions then vector product of matters are find two vectors are given and find the angle between those vectors so the cross product was the concept on these concepts are already explained in with our video in competitive engineering you can watch those videos for get that concept and probability probability there was um, some problems on probability and though we are all already prepared videos for probability and published also you can watch that permutation and combination number of the keys and number of doors are there how many combinations are there F that kind of a question was there and normal to the curve so a curve is given equation of the curve is given then what is the equation of normal to the curve so that was the questions from mathematics out of from those five questions there was six question and so on so these are the areas in engineering mechanics and mathematics so next is material science and manufacturing science that there was a question from crystal structure that is uh, what is the crystal structure of iron and uh, copper and uh, 
then one more metal that is a crystal structure and rise in temperature during drilling so it, uh, it was from manufacturing size uh, how what will be the temperature rise during a drilling process and taylor's tool life equation the main area from production the taylor's tool life equation asked the question problem based on that concept and strain hardening what will happen in strain hardening there was a theory question and the, there was a problem based on resistance welding concept and there was a mass production of seamless tubes what is the method used for that there was a theory question and casting def defects that is a misrun that is due to the insufficient fluidity of the molten metal so you should be thorough about the uh, theory concepts in manufacturing size because very less problems are asked and more problems more questions are from theory part then machine design there was only f four or five questions and uh, fatigue failure there was one question regarding fatigue failure short peening and the uh, thread types which is the thread used in particular application and so on and there was a question based upon fits and tolerances and uh, gauges which gauge will be used for this application and all and ball bearing load and the relation between the ball bearing life and the load so we are all familiar with those concepts and uh, we'll be preparing the concept videos based upon these important areas you can subscribe our channel for that then we are going to discuss about fluid mechanics questions and fluid machinery questions from fluid mechanics there was a manometer problems because youtube manometer is given and the, what is the height for particular pressure or the height is given and what will be the per pressure connector and the buoyancy there was a problem it was some um, uh, hook and all actually that question was wrong given wrong in the first and is isro and circuit and uh, we claimed it after that they corrected it and there was a question based on a pitot tube and piezometer and uh, from surface tension there was a question based upon excess pressure and the uh, stream function as we all know velocity potential function and stream function important areas from fluid mechanics there was question based upon stream function also and the what is a there was a theory question from coefficient of discharge it was a little bit confusing but the question was about uh, coefficient of discharge for orifice meter what will be the range of coefficient of discharge it is around 0.6 so one question was about hydraulic diameter uh, hydraulic diameter used in fluid mechanics so for a rectangular tube so these are the main areas from fluid mechanics you can expect questions from these areas in this exam also so be prepared with these areas these are the core areas pressure measurement buoyancy flotation then pitot tube and all that is measuring instruments then excess pressure surface tension steam function th that is kinematics of flow and coefficient of discharge that is flow measurement again hydraulic diameter it is coming in Reynolds number and all so from fluid machinery there was a theory question based upon multi-stage centrifugal pump where it is used and the there was a match the following type question based upon different types of turbines hydraulic turbines and imp mm, that is steam turbines was also there and there was a problem based upon turbine concepts that is scale f using scale factor and all so if you are th thoroughly clear about this concept you can easily solve that problem but you have to be clear accurate when doing the problems from strength of the materials there was a question based upon the bending moment and there was a numerical from thermal stress and Hooke's law. Hooke's law it is nothing but the static deflection. So when some force is applied what will the elongation and all. So there was a question from shaft design based upon the torsional rigidity and uh, there was a theory from cantilever deflection and resilience toughness fatigue there was a match the following type questions so what is resilience and what is toughness and fatigue we are all familiar with these concepts if you are not familiar be subscribe our channel we will be coming with this kind of videos to introduce you the core areas and next is RAC only three three four questions asked from RAC the one was from refrigeration problem and the next was another problem to find the COP of a refrigerating machine and uh, refrigerating effect then there was one question from psychrometry it was the theory question the same question asked in gate 2017 exam <laughs> the second session so the question was a uh, uh, the air in a container is heater then what will happen the relative humidity decreases so that was the question the same question came in 2017 gate examination session 2 that is uh, 4th February second session so that was a theory question from psychrometry so now we discuss the most of the areas I forgot to discuss about gas dynamics gas dynamics the questions came from mm, 
the design of nozzles so these will gas dynamics is a rare field which, which does not come in gate and all so you have to prepare that area also so now you introduce about ISRO 2016 exam I hope that you got a clear idea about the exam what are the important area and how to prepare for the exam and all so is there any way to prepare for the ISRO 2017 exam there are two months remaining so we started a Facebook group for that called ISRO scientist SE 2017 mechanical engineer you can join with us we will be providing question papers from 2006 onwards in ISRO website you can get the question papers from 2012 to 2016 for more practicing we are providing question papers from 2006 to 2006 to 2016 that is 10 years question paper and we will be so solving those question papers and you can ask doubts and we are preparing more videos and we will be posting it there so if you are joining there you can have a peer group discussion so we are all inviting you to join in that group and all the best very best to you we can subscribe our channel you can share this video if you found useful you can request for videos if you don't know some concept or if you want uh, more idea about some concept or you don't know how to solve a problem and all we will try our best thank you for watching Thank you.